Hi, we're the VTE team. My name is Judith Effany. And my name is Tracy Graham. Our role is to educate and train both patients and staff in the area of venous thromboembolism. We also manage and care for patients with this condition. You will see us working out on the wards and you will meet us in our haematology clinics. Blood clots are often referred to in hospital as VTE or venous thromboembolism. These are blood clots that develop in the deep veins of the leg or in the lungs. You will also hear to them referred as DVT or PE. A DVT is a blood clot which forms in the veins, usually in the legs or in the pelvis. A pulmonary embolism or PE can occur when part of the blood clot from the leg breaks off and travels to the lung. The signs and symptoms of a DVT are usually on one side. They can include pain in the leg which does not resolve when wristed and can cause difficulty in weight bearing. The symptoms can also include swelling and or redness. Again, this does not go down at rest. The signs and symptoms of a pulmonary embolism are difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, coughing up blood, chest pain that is often worse when breathing in. This can also be accompanied by the symptoms of a DVT. Symptoms should not be ignored. If you are in hospital, you must tell the nurse or doctor looking after you. If you are at home, you should get urgent medical attention. Coming into hospital can increase the risk of developing blood clots. It is a priority of our hospital staff to identify the risk and keep you safe. This is achieved by individual risk assessment on admission to hospital and throughout your stay. Unfortunately, despite taking preventative measures, there are occasions when blood clots will still happen. When you come into hospital, it is important to ask your nurse or doctor if you have been risk assessed. Some people are more at risk of developing blood clots than others. You are more at risk if you are over the age of 60, immobile for long periods, take certain medications such as hormone replacement, the oral contraceptive pill, or are having chemotherapy. If you are pregnant or have had a baby within the past six weeks, if you have a cancer or are undergoing treatment for cancer, if you are significantly overweight with a body mass index of greater than 30, dehydrated, have had a previous DVT or PE, or if you have a family history of DVT or PE. If you are having surgery or if you are acutely unwell, particularly if you have other long-term medical conditions, which include inflammatory diseases such as Crohn's disease. The most important thing that we need to do when you first come into hospital is risk assessment. Following risk assessment, it may be necessary to give preventative treatments. These are drugs that are used to prevent or treat blood clots and are called anticoagulants. They slow down the clotting process. They are usually given by injection and are called heparin. They can also be given in tablet form. The main side effects of these drugs are that they can occasionally cause bleeding. This risk also needs to be assessed and it will be discussed with you. It is important that if you need to continue to take the drugs when you go home, that you take them regularly as instructed and complete the course. If this is not explained to you, please do not hesitate to ask a member of the clinical team looking after you before you go home. You may also be measured and fitted with stockings. The stockings work by helping to return blood to the heart, which does not happen effectively when you are less mobile. They will feel tight, but should not be intolerable. They should fit snugly without any wrinkles appearing, but should not cause damage to the skin. They should be worn day and night until you return to your usual level of mobility, and therefore you may need to wear them when you're at home. If this is the case, please make sure someone has shown you how to wear and care for them correctly before you are discharged. There is a leaflet available to support this. You may also be fitted with compression devices. These are sleeves which are fitted to your feet or legs. They inflate at regular intervals. They work very similarly to stockings by returning blood to the heart. They are used particularly in immobile patients. They are effective at reducing the formation of DVT, 
They're mainly used during and after an operation and if there is a risk of bleeding. To help yourself, whilst you're in hospital and when you go home, you should move around as soon as possible, particularly after you've had surgery. Leg exercises are important. If you point your toes down and then bend your foot up at regular intervals, this will encourage blood to be pumped back to the heart. Rotate your ankles in a circular motion. Do this at least 10 times an hour, particularly when you are inactive. Avoid becoming dehydrated, particularly in hot weather. Make sure that you drink plenty of water or other fluids regularly. If you need any advice, please do not hesitate to contact us.